Welcome to the session number three of the Lightroom CC for Desktop tutorial. Using these photos from Petra Trek Tours, a touring company that uh, has some great tours in Jordan, and I'm going to be leading one of them, which I'm really excited about. So this is Petra, and what we're going to do is transform this picture, which is great already, but we're going to make it into more of an advertising or social media ready picture that's really clean and powerful used for advertising. One thing I will mention is that when I'm doing street photography, I don't delete anything. However, when we're dealing with advertising, uh, anything is doable. It's I'm totally fine deleting people or things in the picture simply because advertising has a different standard of uh, ethics. Okay, so let's begin. We're already at one to one because this is a smaller JPEG. So we're going to just simply zoom in a little bit more, quite a bit more actually. And our goal, first of all, is to get rid of the arm. So we're gonna go to the healing brush and you may have a clone as default or you may have heal. We're just gonna go to clone this time. As for size, I like you to choose a size that's a little bit smaller probably than you would expect. And feather is really trial and error. So for example, for this picture, based on the size of my brush, I'm gonna go for about 70. Okay, so next I'm going to bleed a little bit into the rock, but not much. And as you can see, I'm overlapping each time that I paint this arm, because I don't want any, uh, any sections missed. Okay, I let go, and what you'll see is Lightroom actually gives you a suggestion based on its own thinking. And often I find that it's, it's okay, but I'd prefer to do something else. So I'm just going to move the uh, sample point, and that's very easy. You just grab onto the blue dot, move the sample point anywhere you want, and here we go. Now the next thing is we're going to look at what we've done, okay? Not bad, but as you can see, we have a problem here. So how do we fix it? Because this will happen to you quite often when you're dealing with the clone stamp. Very simple. All we have to do is grab onto this blue dot and move the dot anywhere we want. Okay, so let's let go of that and let's go back and test it out. Let's go to one to one and there we go. So this is actually pretty good. This section here is part of the rock and the arm is gone. And that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so let's go again. Let's go down to the legs. Let's go back. And we're gonna do one leg at a time. Actually, we'll do a couple things. Let's just get rid of this leg here. Remember, try to be very careful with painting this. We don't, we don't want anything missed. Okay. Now, first of all, Lightroom has selected what will probably be a decent selection. So let's just back out. We'll go to one to one. And what do you think? Uh, it's actually pretty good. And I doubt that anyone would really notice if they didn't know that we were doing this operation. In fact, we may even get away with not bothering with that other leg there because it may be invisible. So let's take a look here. Let's see here. Yeah, it doesn't really even look like a, a foot. So let's just skip it. We'll save some time. Okay, so if you like the way that the rock looks, we're ready to move on. Now the next thing is, what do you think about this man here? I believe that while he's probably always there, it looks like he's an attendant and he's part of the picture. What I really like about this picture is the three camels and the three men. And I find that this man here doesn't add anything to the picture. In fact, he detracts from it at this point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in. And by the way, if you wanted to clean this up, it's very, very simple. All you do is just do another go with a smaller brush. For example, let's just do something like this. And take the sample point somewhere else. And just back out, see if you like it. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so let's go back to the man. Now, with regards to this scene, it may be a little bit trickier because we're dealing with these uh, ropes here. So let's give it a try. 
I'm going to make my circle bigger, my brush bigger. Okay. So in a bit of a square fashion, we're going to just cover that fellow. And as you can see, Lightroom did a pretty good job at choosing. The only difficulty is that we're kind of missing the sway of the, uh, the rope. So it's a little tricky, but we could probably do something like this and then fix this rope up here. So let's take a look. Okay, not bad. It certainly could be better, but we're, what we're going to do now is just erase this rope. So let's go back to clone stamp. We're going to make a smaller brush. And whenever we're dealing with trying to work under a previous clone, Lightroom is still pretty tricky with this. I, I find that difficult. So what I usually do is I start somewhere outside of the previous work, previous brush, and then I move in. Okay? So we don't want to sample from there, certainly. But we could sample from pretty close to beside it. Okay, let's take a look at this. Now, I know it's pretty choppy looking, but let's take a look at it at one to one. Okay, can you see anything there? The fact is that this image is going to be used for social media. It's not going to be printed. So that means I can safely say that this is a totally acceptable job, even though it's a little bit rushed and not completely accurate. What I would actually do if I was going to be printing this out is I'd go to File, Edit in Photoshop, and then I would clean that up much better. However, I'm not going to do that because, again, this is only going to be used for social media. Okay, good. So he's gone. And what's next? Well, I really feel that this deserves to be a black and white. I think it's a fantastic image. However, before we do that, I just realized I want to get rid of this here. It's a little bit of a, a black area. So we're just going to clone that out. We'll let Lightroom decide on this one. Well, it's not bad. Let's do it again. Little section that it, it missed. Okay, good. So let's find out what we can do for black and white. So we're going to go to our editing section here, the tools. And while I feel that it's better to learn how to do black and whites yourself, especially through the amazing color channel mixing options, because I don't have too much time, I'm just going to go to profile and go to black and white. And I'll just choose black and white too, which I feel really works well for this type of picture. However, I feel that we need to reduce the highlights here. So let's go back to light. We're going to go to highlights and reduce the highlights all the way. Again, this is not a raw photo. This is a JPEG, so we don't have too much to work with. However, I'm really liking this. I find that the three men here balance off the three camels really well. And overall, it's a classic picture. So I'm really happy with it and it's ready to roll. Check back tomorrow for another Lightroom lesson and happy editing.